Today is Holy Saturday, and it's a day of silent contemplation before Easter, and that can be actually that can be a fantastic thing to have, contemplating on, for example, sadness and grief, which always comes before the festivities of Easter. Um, a day to sit back and focus and read and maybe even focus on the things that you feel are a little bit negative. Like, why is it that when I, people assume things rather than ask me or, but for the most part, it's taking that look and awaiting, awaiting the good and, uh, since I've been doing a lot of that, oh boy, have I been doing a lot of that, um, I decided to come on here and do a little bit more of what can you do when you're basically sitting there and trying not to focus on the bad. Okay, so I have one suggestion that's, it's called Finch, Finchley, where you use growing a tiny baby bird and you focus on the things like growing confidence and writing those things and um, looking into different things. What are my favorite foods? Do I have any negative things that I need to let go of? Things like that. So definitely recommending Finchley down below and also a brand new show that I like. Um, I haven't seen the American version of Ghost yet, mainly because of the fact that I keep on missing it. But the British version is really good, and I know the people from Horrible Histories, in which they took some of the worst parts of human history, and they made them funny. Also, the Canadian, with the Canadian comedy troupe, with History Bites, uh, with Rick Green from both The Red Green Show and the Frantics, who did one of my favorite ever comedy routines based on changing to Roman numerals. So new things, good things, so that you're not really focusing on, okay, there has been a terrible misunderstanding and now I'm a bit annoyed because people are instead assuming how I feel which is not fun, and I think it's part and parcel with a disability. Sometimes people will do that. Assume how I feel, and I've done that to others in the name of wanting to be kind. Sometimes I have accidentally misjudged and thought that I needed to do certain things or thought certain things rather than waiting for them to ask or to tell me. So all in the name of politeness, you know. So for the most part, uh, but also um, just, hey, how do you feel about this situation? Has anything really changed? Um, how do you, when there's a lot of changes going on, people can act really, really funny because they don't know how to handle it. I'm in that place. Wow, there's a lot going on, but there's a lot that needs to go on. And I'm really, really frustrated because no one hears me. Um, but that's more or less something I need to work on. <laughs> um, getting there. And of course, getting past the fear of someone being angry at me because I said something or I disagreed with something that they were trying to say or even just feeling wonky. So um, sometimes you might have to look inward, focus on your reading, your writing, focus on the good, find a new show that you like, um, but also I guess lead for yourself and um, just be. And it's the hardest thing um, because sometimes you are kind of waiting for someone to say, oh, that's what you meant. And so it's all about learning how to say it and 
and uh, oh. but when things are going good, celebrate those good things. And when they're going bad, um, sometimes you do need to ask, but also figure out why they're going bad. Me, I've got a few things, um, but also just say, okay, look, I love you and um, I'm gonna go do this thing, but also <laughs> I'm very upset because no one asked me how I felt and kind of just assumed and that makes me feel sad and that maybe work on the I message of I feel sad because I didn't feel heard, which is fine. Um, I'm working on that. Yeah. Rather than why is no one listening to me and why can't I get it out? Um, but here's some good. So try Finchley for emotional stuff, uh, breathing exercises, things like that. It also contains things that, you know, puff yourself up a little bit. Be like, I did really, really awesome today because I was doing this thing, or I felt really flattered when someone thought I was staff. Something like that. Um, it's leaning positive for me, which is good. Um, and we'll work on the negative. I, that is. And on um, not letting things go to a dark place, I guess you'd say, because I can't stand that, and I don't ever want to leave things on a negative basis. Um, it just sucks. Uh, find a good book. I'm still looking. Um, I have the world at my fingertips, but yeah, I don't know what I'm looking for. And a new TV show. So there will be links, and uh, hope you enjoy. And you are so loved. Take really, really good care of yourselves. Bye-bye.